Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a quick tutorial for you. Like this is very simple, all right? So I decided to use something that I already done and uh, you know, as a reference because I already have the mask and stuff already in place and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But let's say that you have a material, all right? Like this one right here, that you have this little thing right here. But when you go to the mask section, I have all of this stuff right here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you in a little bit. There you go. So this is kind of like my mask where I want my stuff to be in, all right? If I turn off all of this stuff, this is how it looks like. It's disgusting, right? But if I start putting details in, layering it, it's different, right? It creates the illusion that, you know, um, we're taking away from this one with all of this, all the masks. It's just subtracting from it. Okay, so that's how basically I do a lot of this stuff. Like if I uh, go to this one here, I layer that one on top of the other one with a different set of colors, and it, you know it adds it adds a lot more details to the model. So all of this stuff, the system is it's pretty it's pretty cool. So if I go and do the same thing here, I turn off all those. That one over there, you see that's kind of like the curvature right there. It's just a curvature. Some bodies here, but it's just a curvature. If I start adding like. There you go, subtracting more and a little bit more. I could actually go a little bit more, but I was like, you know what? I think I can get away with this one and just leave it like this. But you can see that smart, I mean, masks are super, super important. So that's why like smart masks are, you know, are, are such a great thing to have at hand. And sometimes you want to create your own ones, right? Like in this case, if I want to just have this effect for later, uh, this is kind of like what the tutorial is going to be like, right here. This is it. Right click and create a small mask. Boom. And if I go to here, it's right there. That's it. That's the tutorial right there. All right, so let's just put this one in practice right here. I'm just going to go and open a blank one. This blank one that we had over here is that it's the, it had the stuff from the previous tutorial. So I'm just gonna do something over here. I'm just gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna create another one over here, and create a, a black mask, and I'm just gonna drag and drop the one that we just created, and I'm gonna put it on top of that one. I'm gonna put a color here because obviously we need a color in that layer, otherwise it's just gonna be the same color from the other one, and different values, all right? So I'm just gonna go with, you know, something visible here and maybe different color something like that and maybe not metallic there you go all right so now let's visualize that and it's actually adjusting to the values that you have in the bake of this object all right remember in order to have that i, I said this before but i just gonna say it again in order to you know the mask and stuff like that to adjust like if I go to the curvature here, this curvature is showing me the values that is you know they're baked into this object right here. And if you if you go here to the image inputs, you're gonna see the curvature right there. So that's basically it's gonna adjust to your, uh, to your model right there. And if you see, you're gonna just turn it on. It's remember everything. It's the same the same mask we just saved right there. I think this is this is pretty pretty cool. And remember, you have a lot of other masks available for you, but you you can always create your own, uh, you know, your own mask. Just if you find something that is pretty cool, you're like, oh man, I like this kind of effect. I'm just gonna, it's it's like uh, like a smart material, but in this case, it's just a smart mask, and you can just use it and reuse it. And you just go here and just you know you can change stuff. It's non-destructive. You can just go back and just adjust as you want. And if I go like this one, you know what? I, I think I can just move it around like that. And I want a little less strong and more contrast over here. Something like that. There you go. So it, it's totally, it's up to you after that. Remember, but remember, you need, let me turn it off. You need to have, first of all, you need to have a fill layer. Just right click and add a black mask to it. Or you can just drag and drop. It's just, it's going to create the black mask for you right away. And let me just change the color here. Like that, just uh, not metallic or whatever, and totally like that. There you go. So, all right, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. And if you like, 
If you like the video, please hit the like, the like button and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. All right. Now I see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.